All right, welcome back to MMA Al Dente. I'm here to talk to you guys about Caitlin Chukagan versus Manon Fierro. This is the pay-per-view main card opener, and that's for a great reason, because this one is for a title shot, I want to say. The winner of this will get a title shot. I'm 100% sure Manon Fierro will, will if she wins, but I'm over 50% sure still that uh, Caitlin Chukagan will if she, gets a t if she beats uh, Manon. Menon. Anyway, uh, great fight. I do think it's a very interesting clash of styles because these are both two of the longer, taller girls in the division. Flyweight, by the way. And they both are great at fighting long and tall. They just do it in totally different ways. Chu Kagan is more of a conventional long and tall fighter. Just still going to out-joust you. And Menon Fierro is a girl that's looking to knock your head off, despite having the, uh, you know, the reach, and maybe she could sit comfortably behind a jab. No, even her kicks, her joust is a side kick, just like uh, Chu Kagan's front kick or teep kick. Manon Fierro, with the way she moves, that side kick is everything to her, just like Wonder Boy Thompson. It complements her style, the, the stance, and it's powerful. Uh, in addition to every strike she throws. That's why this girl is one of the best knockout artists in the division. And there aren't too many of them. She's been able to separate herself from the pack. And I think she's she may not get a knockout here, but she's going to get plenty of knockouts in the future. Her days of knocking girls out are, aren't done yet. They are, aren't over. Chukagin, however, no knockouts. I think she's got one under some circumstances, but... She's got eight, a record of 18 and 4 with 15 decisions. She's a bona fide decision fighter. I mean, it is what it is. I'm not trying to knock her. By the way, this show is sponsored by Kiwi Strawberry Propel. All right. Um, Chukagan, 15 decisions. She's only lost two decisions. Her record as a decision fighter is 15-2. and two. She's a bona fide point fighter. I do think she's one of the best of all time. Uh, overall, of women in the UFC, she's one of the best of all time. Maybe the best non-champion of all time. She's like uh, one of those all-time greats. That's honestly how I look at her and her record inside the UFC, which I'm, I don't even know what it is. 13-4, and four, something like that. But it's around there. She's got those four losses inside the UFC. The one being to Valentina Shevchenko, the championship. And the other finish loss was to Jessica Andrade. Now, she has been finished there twice. The Valentina one was due to grappling. She was pinned down in the crucifix. Which, I'm not saying men on Fierro couldn't do that. In fact, if she was able to develop a great, you know ground game where she worked her way to the crucifix she looks like she's stronger than Matt Hughes so that might work for her but I don't think that's a path to victory here the Andrade fight that was a body shot that connected Andrade I imagine hits harder than everybody and probably most guys but Man and Fierro I don't know she's definitely up there in terms of power she's right up there I'd put her very close to Jessica Andrade in terms of the whole division, and I don't know if there's anybody in between them. Uh, but when you look at her other losses, they were to two bigger girls at the time, anyway, girls that came down like her, uh, Liz Carmouche and Jessica I. And those were still very close fights. The Jessica I fight, she was barely outpointed, and the Liz Carmouche fight, she was barely outpointed. She clearly lost, but I thought she redeemed herself by knocking Carmouche down and outworking her round three. So, uh, Caitlin Chukagan's never been dominated aside from the, really, the Valentina Shevchenko fight. And I see her making this one a close one as well, unless, of course, the right shot to the body lands. And I think uh, she's worth a bet at plus 175. I don't know. I, I saw it right away and said, oh, Really? And because of my reaction, I just said, I got to bet on her without even looking into the fight. And I did. And now her decision line, which is what I expect, has been released. And it's right there, plus 190 or something. It's not even worth betting on that. You know, whatever. You may as well assume there's going to be a cut and, uh, you know, keep yourself open with the money line. But 
uh, Chukagan is definitely worth a stab at those odds. I do think she's got that unique style where she's the the unique frame where she can deal with Menon's unique style differently than most can. Caitlin Chukagan is long and tall, and she fights uh, great with as a counter striker. Believe it or not, I think that's what she's going to be forced to do here. It won't just be where she's standing still and Manon's working all around her. They're both going to be circling, but Fioro will dictate the action with her movement. And she'll be the one coming in, and Chukagan will be trying to figure out her entries, and it's going to be an interesting clash. I just think Chukagan will be in a position physically to make her pay where others haven't. Certainly not Tabitha Ricci, who I think the world of, but she's half the size of Chukagan. And in a stand-up fight, you know, fighting semi shilt that's who Chukagian is. She's the semi shilt of the division. It's uh, its always going to be a tall order. It's the kind of fucking joke you get from this channel. And it is. It's a tall order to uh, try to take out Chukagian. He outpointer. And, uh, you know, I think the stand-up battle, it's not uh, its up in the air. You know, I do see where what everyone else sees. I could absolutely see Menon winning the fight. But I don't think that everyone else sees what I see when it comes to Chukagin. She's almost indomitable on the feet. And as for the grappling, depends on who initiates it, really. You know, uh, Menon, Menon Fioro, who I love, by the way. I'm making fun of her name, but I love Menon. Uh, she lost her first fight to Leah McCourt. That was her MMA debut, and it was a really close decision. I did think Leah clearly won, but I think it went to a split decision. But Leah won largely with top control, and she won from takedowns in the clinch. Now, she's a bigger girl, you know, uh, and certainly bigger than 125. She's fighting at 145 now, but Chukagin is... Big, strong, and competent. I do see her, despite having the overall athletic disadvantage and the strength disadvantage, I do see her being able to slow the fight down effectively. Maybe not with a takedown, but absolutely with leverage in the clinch and just, you know, smothering uh, Menon in the clinch. The thing is, she's got a catcher there and pin her there. And uh, this will be uh, a fight that, you know, it depends on how the striking goes to see who initiates the grappling. But I do think between the two of them, I'd expect Menon to be uh, looking to keep it on the feet at all costs. And Chukagian may be the one to try to initiate the grappling. Nevertheless, I, uh, I do think it will be largely a stand-up fight. You know, uh, there might be periods up in the clinch that will change the fight. But on the feet, this is not the fight that everyone thinks it is, where Menon Fierro is going to be dancing around Chukagian and tuning her up like she did to everyone else. And Jennifer Maya, we've seen Jennifer Maya against Chu Kagan. She ran into that same trouble, you know, in a different type of way, but largely the same trouble, where she just, uh, she didn't win one round. So, Chu Kagan is absolutely in this fight. I have bet on her, plus 175. I think the, the odds dropped now to plus 170, but it's still worth a stab. I think she's uh, very much in this fight, and in three rounds, you know, it's, it's anybody's fight. You know, uh, you can lose a round up against the cage. You can lose a round. I, you know, the these girls aren't probably aren't going to drop each other. Although, if anybody does drop one another, I would lean towards Fioro. So that is something for her. But I think in a fight where no one's getting dropped, I'm trusting Chukagin to outpoint Fioro. Caitlin Chukagin's the pick. All right, like, share, subscribe, buy, propel, and uh, check out my other videos.